Okay guys, welcome back. So, it's been a while, Matty, since we've done a ball test. Feels like it, yeah. We were uh, digging through the back, looking for some December inspiration, working at it a little thin in the ground. But a golf ball test uh, is always a good time. Always a good time. So, we found uh, some golf balls that were sent to us from a company called Mint, mm. out of Berlin in Germany. Interesting. Direct to consumer, one of the many that are out there now, um, kind of vying for that price point option. We're going to test, we'll leave out the middle golf ball, the Ambition Tour. We hit a few with all three of them and we felt mm. like, you know, probably, you know, from a golf ball choice standpoint that we're really looking at, um, you know, the, the kind of pro or the, the cheaper model, right? It's, yeah. it's going to be more about price. Like, I agree. What are you going to be, you know, getting from the pro golf ball? What are you going to be saving with the softer like the golf soft ball. one, yeah, the talent soft. Immediately thoughts, I mean, we, we obviously see these direct consumer golf balls at times, we, we look at them and, and go quality wise on the cover, things like that, you seen anything? I think the Wizard Pro looks like a pretty good ball. Looks like a very, yeah, very standard, very normal golf ball. Yeah, yeah. it's got kind of like the, the right shade of white, the cover's softer obviously being urethane. Yeah. And then the Talent Pro, it looks like most of the kind of two piece balls that mm -hmm. we see. Uh, a little bit kind of the brighter and more slippy cover on it. So yeah. um, I think we know generally what to expect, but maybe just sort of the point of the test will be to see how much are you giving up on, you know, probably spin and uh, green side performance, maybe some ball speed off the driver as well. Totally. 85 compression with the Pro versus 50 compression with the Soft. So okay. quite Both a difference. Soft. Both pretty soft. Yeah. Though. that And that's why I think, you know, looking at these, we're, we're going to get a, a wider um, performance difference yes. between the, the compression, the cover, the, the layering, uh, three piece versus two piece. So, Makes sense. Um, let's, let's start with some short shots. Sure. We'll go to some wedges, we'll hit some sevens and some drivers. Sounds good. Wow. So we've kind of enhanced the, the yes. green firmness just because I think sometimes when you simulate the green, green firmless, they can all kind of look a bit the same. Agreed. You know, we want to try and show, you know, it's three yards of difference between where it lands and where it finishes. I would say that's pretty accurate. Yeah, with that amount of spin, yep. good amount of spin on that. That kind of, uh, that launch angle, that spin rate, I mean, 85 on a 56 yard wedge good. shot is fantastic. That's nice. Yeah, kind of a one hop and Come to a nice check. Love that one there. That was excellent. Nice one. That sounded clipped. It comes to a nice stop on a firm it does. surface. Yeah, really nice amount of spin on that one uh, as a benchmark 83.76 in the premium yeah. territory for sure. It's extremely soft. <laughs> yeah, that's different. Wow. It feels completely different. I'm kind of hitting high lobs with this. That was picked lovely. That's I think as good as you can do, but I it definitely, so. it sounded. takes off higher and it spins less. Get exactly the same output, but look at the difference in launch and spin. Wild. So the most we've ever seen on a golf ball test from 50 yards. Yeah, that's the most significant. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, look at those. We never really see those trajectories, you know, separate. No. That's that's a big, big difference. Good swing, good yeah. contact. You feeling strike? That's good swing. Nice. Nice fight. Feels good off the club. Good too. Yeah, very good. Consistent again yeah, though, isn't consistent. it? Consistent, yeah, good uh, good good consistent launch conditions with it across the board actually. Definitely feels soft. <laughs> yeah, sounds it for sure. A little bit more air time it looks like with that, Matty. Maybe lower spin, yeah. Good Great strike, really good. Strike. Yeah, no doubt this is one of the softer balls. We've you can feel the fifty compression pretty, pretty obviously. It's good. Yeah, 
Yeah, so not okay. too bad. Not crazy different as much as the 50 yarder was. No, no, but a little bit quicker, a little less spin, giving us a little more yardage. Kind of what you'd expect? Yeah. Probably, probably if you wanted to argue, maybe the tug, the slight pull, yeah. you know, could, you know, could cater or, or could account for yes. uh, the, the speed in the spin. So probably that's not that dissimilar. Yeah, pretty similar off the pitching yeah. margin. Yeah, just, I mean, a big feel difference, that's for sure. Lovely. Just think the trajectory with the the pro golf ball looks very familiar. Yes. You know, spin rate wise, launch really really nice across the board. Mhm. Mm it's a good one. Yeah, lovely. Well struck. That's pretty Another good. Another pretty good one, Matty. Yep. Turn in a fraction, but it's a good strike. And I think even with the tour ball, it's a little bit of a fight or flight, that's yeah. for sure. It's well struck. This will be interesting because obviously staying left side of the flag, you're yeah. going to have that little bit more spin, but that's went forever. That's pretty close to that first one. It is close, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, just to the left of the pin. For almost the identical ball speed, <laughs> quite similar in launch angle, we've got this kind of discrepancy in spin. Half a club more in distance, but it's kind of the unpredictability uh, of, the, of the spin rate. You have to have the face either dead square or slightly open. Yeah. If it gets turning right, I think this softball is like a flyer almost. Totally. If you if you play a bit of a, a bit of a flat draw by any means, yeah, this this would be concerning, wouldn't it? It would be unless you delivered so much dynamic loft. But yeah. I think for most people, the the um, the pro ball is low spin enough. Like mm -hmm. it's not that high spin of a ball to begin yep. with. Yeah. Let's uh, let's see what the driver does. Handsome. It's a good eat. It's good too. Yeah. Strike. That was nice. It's the bullet ball, Matty. Turn it over a little bit. Three really nice strikes right out the button. 166, so maybe you could argue that it's okay in efficiency. It's not, not terrible, no. Not terrible. Dynamic, all that's in the right order. Um, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good driver numbers. Yeah, nothing to complain about. It's a good one. That is a good one. Looked like I had the low spin flight to that Kinda one. Kind of did, yeah. It's just, it's marshmallowing off the face. Wow. Like I feel like there's just, <laughs> Holy moly. there's no speed at all. I hit that really well. I think both balls are over compressing to be honest, but the soft is really over compressing. Yeah, yeah, one, one four oh smashes on the very, very low side. It's a nice one, I think. I mean, the launch conditions are, are, you know, decent. I think the standard deviation is, is fine across the board, but it's this... Uh, it's, it's just marshmallows. Yeah, same club head speed going in, different uh, ball speed going out. Yeah, it just feels like it marshmallows off the face and I can't hardly get over 165, mm -hmm. no matter how hard I try. <laughs> but isn't that amazing? It ends up shaking out to Into me. Into the same yardage. Same yeah. yardage. Who needs six miles an hour ball speed anyway? It doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so let's let's kind of recap over this. So 50 yarder, 
spin. Everything else kind of the same, but a bit more, well, a bit more launch, three and a half in the launch. Full wedge, we saw probably the closest. I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah, they were almost the same. It was just the uh, me pulling one slightly changed the numbers, but similar. Yeah, big change when it got to the seven iron, Matty. So it's identical ball speed, launch is close, but big, big spin differential. Yeah. And then the driver, as we've seen many times doing these, whether it was a Wilson, you know, duo or, yeah. or any of those soft, soft golf balls. I mean, the ball speed loss at high speed is really significant on ball speed loss. This might be one of the most significant. Yeah. I just felt like I couldn't get any ball speed out of it. And honestly, the pro, I think at 80 compression, you said? 85. Even that might feel a little bit soft to me, mm -hmm. um, just based on the ball that I usually play, because it felt like I couldn't get over 168 or anything like that. They were all sort of in that 166, 167 range. So right. um, I think, yeah, it probably isn't suited off the driver for the high swing speed player, mm -hmm. but you just have to decide how important that is to you. I mean, you still got yardage out of it, it just didn't have a ton of ball speed. And I think that's the point that we would make to people when, when you know, we might look at the the lower spin option for some people and go, yeah, you know, try this one for, for lower spin. But if you're high spin and uh, high speed, yes. it's just not going to work for you. It's not going to work. You, no. you, know, you might lose a little spin, but you, you're also going to lose a ton of ball speed. If you don't swing super fast, maybe you're a 100 mile an hour guy, I think the driver would be fine. Right. I think it's just once you get into the 110, 115s, yeah. we start to see the fall off in efficiency. I would agree. So, yeah, yeah the Pro Bowl, I think, is a pretty good ball. The soft, I think, will be a little more niche. I think maybe in the really low swing speeds, yep. as long as you can get the ball up in the air with low spin. Totally. Um, but yeah, probably two of the most significant differences between two balls that we've seen in quite some time. Quite wide, yeah, quite wide indeed. Um, both golf balls are both, yeah, I mean, pretty much everything that uh, Mint offers uh, in uh, bulk buy, six buy, five get one free. Oh, good. So, uh, so good you deals. can net that price down quite a bit, down to around, I think it's around $30 uh, US. For the pro? Uh, for the pro. That's a good deal. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, would, I would say that's a great deal for kind of the mid to high swing, or kind of mid swing speed player. Yeah, the yeah. player who's kind of aspiring to play a golf ball with premium attributes, but maybe doesn't want to kind of carry that high end price point. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. no, they were pretty good. Uh, guys, uh, mint golf balls out of Berlin, Germany. Uh, I haven't seen I haven't seen these be tested really I uh, elsewhere. I no. really haven't. So um, let us know if you guys knew about them before we did. Uh, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. Um, it's not one I've even been asked for, to be honest. No. You know, I've heard pretty much from our audience about all the different direct to consumer golf balls this is the the first one they arrived through the door was the first i'd heard from them. so um familiar familiar looking be logo i was gonna say well. the logo is a little familiar we've seen something that looks ours, like that but before yeah attractive very attractive well done <laughs> excellent okay guys stay tuned for more we'll see you again soon